Hello my beautiful amazing movie freaks. If you are new here or you have not yet seen this movie, there will be spoilers. But if that does not bother you, let's go ahead and jump into my review of After We Collided. So After We Collided is basically the sequel and it follows a young couple on their relationship. It's based off of the book of the same name written by the marvelous Anna Todd. Um, this movie has been long awaited for me. It um, came out this year barely today in the US. Um, it runs an hour and 47 minutes and it is directed by Roger Cumble who directed um, Cruel Intentions. It is not the same director as the first one. So it is under the drama category. This uh, screenplay was actually written by Anna Todd and by Maria, no Mario, I'm sorry, Mario Saleya. Um, and it stars Josephine Langford, Langford, I'm sorry, Hero Finnis Tiffin, Dylan Sprouse, and Selma Blair. And some of our other returning characters um, like Inanna, Khadija, Samuel, um, all of those great characters. So basically the movie's up, the movie opens up where it left off. Um, it has Hardin and Tessa sitting on uh, the bridge where they had that very intimate moment in the first film. Um, Tessa leans her head on his shoulder, and that's where the movie left off in the first one. But in this one, it turns out that Hardin is basically dreaming, and he's awoken, and he's sitting in his car. Obviously, he has been drinking, and he gets out to stretch, and this homeless guy, homeless guy comes out um, of the bushes and tries to get his attention, and Hardin basically says, piss off. <laughs> so um, that's where that part starts. Then, then we switch, switch to Tessa, where she's uh, arriving in an Uber on her first day of her internship at Vance Publishing. Uh, there we meet Trevor, played by Dylan Sprouse. We meet uh, Kimberly, uh, played by Candace King. And also we meet Christian Vance, uh, who's played by Charlie Weber. Basically her job entails she's supposed to read five manuscripts a week. Um, and if she likes them, she's supposed to forward them on. Her like, But on her first day, she reads three. And she actually falls asleep and is awoken by Vance himself. He says, you know what, get get your stuff, let's go. So he rushes her off to this conference. She gets this lavish hotel room and basically they're gonna be going to a club to meet someone who wants to invest in uh, Vance's expansion. So stop, please. Mom. Stop. And she gets drunk and stop. <laughs> uh, okay. We're, oh, also, Anna Todd, she gets um, a guest appearance in this. And it's, I mean, it's really quick. It's just like runs through and you can see her. She talks for a second and that's it. But anyways, she gets drunk and um, goes off to the dance floor. And while she's dancing on the dance floor, uh, she mistaken someone and visualizes that it's Hardin and kisses him. Once she comes to, she um, calls Hardin and basically says, I'm drunk, and um, Hardin starts freaking out. Who, by the way, is at, well, he's leaving the party that he was just at, thinking maybe he could hang out with some, you know, some of his old friends, but Molly tries to get his attention and she fails. He dismisses her like super quick and of course it embarrasses her. Um, so her and Trevor leave and they go and hang out um, in uh, Tessa's hotel room. Um, you know they're just talking they're not you know nothing big's going on um, but <laughs> 
Hardin shows up basically right as Trevor is half naked um, and Tessa's, you know, washing off his clothes because she spilt wine on him accidentally, of course. Um, <laughs> there's the famous live effing Trevor, famous uh, line effing Trevor, and he kicks him out real quick. Uh, he's like, what are you doing? And she's like, you know what? Why did you come? And they end up having their first intimate moment on screen okay. for <laughs> after we collided. It's very intense. Not as intense as in the book, of course. Uh, the morning after, she's awoken by Kim saying, you know what, be down here in five minutes. She rushes out, and while rushing out, you know, she's like, I don't know what happened. Um, I, from you to kissing that guy, she slips that she kissed someone. Hardin freaks out and says that he screwed Molly, which he did not. And, you know, that was the end of that. Um... Sorry, my dogs want to play every time I'm doing this. Um, Tessa then, after that, she returns, because it's on a break. It's for Christmas break, I think. She returns to a messy uh, apartment, um, thinking that Hardin's in London. She cleans it up. She actually finds her birthday gift from Hardin, which is a Kindle with all of her favorite books. Um, but soon finds that Hardin returns home and he's with his mother. So Hardin actually didn't tell his mother that um, they had broken up so his mother was so surprised and Tessa decided to play along. Um, at first Tessa thought that he was coming home with another girl but of course he saw his mother and <laughs> you know that was that. Um, they end up sleeping in the same bed because they're like, oh, you know, we can sleep in the same bed. Nothing's going to happen, but something does happen. And they reconnect and they have that passion that they just can't fight. So um, we meet his mother, Trish, who's played uh, by Louise Lombard. And I'm going to stop right there because I think the rest will be too, ma too many spoilers. But so from the book to the movie and the first movie after, which I did do a review for, I'll leave it down below or I'll um, put it up in the iCard. They left out a lot of things from the book, but in this one we get... Um, you know the bracelet gift we get the office scene which is not the same but it you know it's somewhat the same uh, we get the nine days we get the amazing cat fight between Molly and Tessa and I cracked up during that one it was so funny Tessa's amazing because from the first movie to the second movie she has opened up and found herself and her independence and her voice um, after being suppressed by her mother for so long. Uh, we get the car accident scene. Uh, we get the yoga scene and the skating scene. Um, and there's more, but those are the ones that are most prominent to me. Um, now there is some nudity in this movie. Um, it's just back nudity. Um, and that's on part of Hardin, but I think it might be a body double. Um, and there is sex scenes and swearing. Um, a lot of people were upset that in the first movie um, there was no sex scenes. And in this one there is some, but not as, not, not as much as the book. But people were thinking that they lacked that passion and connection between the two. And I thought that um, this film was a large step up from the first one and I I am not saying that I didn't like the first movie because I did but I just felt like um, it didn't have enough from the book um, I think Tessa and Hardin they had a great connection and so much power between the two of them even more than in the first one like I could feel the passion that they had for each other um, 
and Harden showed so much emo like so much emotion and he seemed more alive because in the first one he just seemed kind of dead he was just living to live he wasn't you know really into anything and I think Tessa brought that out of him after they reconnected in the first one um, Tessa also was more assertive and she was just amazing um, I thought she did a great job in opening up, like I said, from being oppressed from her mother. Um, she was just this shy, sheltered girl, and now she's open and speaks what she, you know, wants. And I just thought she did an amazing job. Now, we do get some change in characters um, in the cast of Ken and Karen. They are replaced by Rob Estes and Karamiah Westbrook. And we get to meet Vance's son, Smith, who's played by Max uh, Ragon, if I say that correct. Um, but like I said before, we do get, you know, our usual characters from the beginning, or not the beginning, the first movie. Uh, we get Pia, Inanna, Samuel, and Khadijah, um, which is great because I think they fit their characters so well. So some of the downfalls of this movie, I did feel like it was rushed. And I do understand that it is a large book to fit into one movie um, because every part is equally important in the book. Um, and they did try to put some of those um, important scenes in there. Like I think Anna Todd said that the nine days and the office scene were her favorite. And those are some of my favorite in uh, the book as well. But I think they could have maybe made it a little, just a little bit longer. That way we got more of the sense of what was in the book. Um, I mean, I felt like, I don't know. I just felt like, how do I want to say this? It's, I felt like they meshed well, like the scenes one from another. But I just like, like I said, I felt like they were rushed a little bit. So... I love that, that they upped the passion uh, between Tessa and Harden. Um, they felt more connected more than ever, um, and I just felt like it was on point then. Um, and another thing is, in the first film, he, we get a little glimpse of what happened to him when he was younger and why he hates his father, but in this one we get to see his actual uh, nightmare, which is a flashback, and how he wakes up from that nightmare. And um, I think that was a really important part in the book that we needed to know because that's kind of the that's kind of why the way that's kind of why he is the way he is. Um, so overall, I think it was great. It made me laugh. It made me emotional. It you know it teared me up a little bit. And I can't wait for after we fell and after after ever happy <laughs> those are so hard to say because it's so weird but I give after we collided four books so if you're not used to my scale I usually take something from the movie like so say Michael Myers uh, or Halloween I'll give the movie like five butcher knives or whatever so in this case it's a book because this movie is basically based off writing and books and I go from one to five so I give it four and I think that it did do justice. It could have had a little bit more, but I was satisfied and I was so excited to watch it. It was probably one of my most anticipated movies that I wanted to watch. Um, I think I actually put it in two of my videos that I wanted to watch it. Uh, but yeah, overall I give it four and I think it was a great movie. I don't know why people complain so much. I think Anna Todd did an amazing job. And I cannot wait for the next movie. And I hope they hurry and start filming it because I'm so excited. So, um, the movie that I'm most excited to see is called Freaky. That one comes out on November 13th. I will link it, the trailer down below. It is a comedy and it just looks hilarious. So that is it for my review of After We Collided. If you enjoyed this review or if you've seen this movie, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do that down below and also click the bell so you can be notified of when I upload new content. And please stay tuned because I'm going to be going through every horror movie that I have for the Halloween season. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!